Welcome to News 12 Long Island. I'm Colleen McVeigh. And I'm Judy Martin. The debate over our nation's debt limit rages on, and it does not look like lawmakers are any closer to a deal. So what happens if no agreement is reached? Well, News 12 Long Island's Virginia Huey joins us now from the newsroom to explain. Virginia? Colleen and Judy, the national debt ceiling places a legal cap on the amount the country can borrow. If the debt ceiling isn't raised by the August 2nd deadline, experts say it'll have far-reaching consequences for the way we live. Here's what's at stake for you. On Capitol Hill, President Obama and top Republicans have been wrangling over how to cut spending and raise the nation's debt ceiling by August 2nd. While the battle brews in Washington, most Long Islanders we spoke with have no idea what impact the national debt limit has on them. Do you know how it will affect you if they don't raise the debt ceiling? No, I don't. Do you understand what the debate is about? Not really. I'm not too sure. I'm not positive. They should care because if the government doesn't do something, uh, we've got a disaster on our hands. For starters, if the $14.3 trillion debt ceiling isn't raised by the August 2nd deadline, government payments will be delayed or stop. That includes Social Security checks, veterans' benefits, and paychecks to our troops. On top of that, financial experts say interest rates are likely to rise. That means higher rates for credit cards, home mortgages, car loans, and student loans. And if that happens, then your market's going to collapse. <clears throat> and therefore, it's going to affect your 401k, your 403b. Um, where it stops, who the heck knows? I don't think they can afford to do that. Higher interest rates would bring the borrowing capacity of families down and could slow down business investment, which means less hiring. The bottom line, failure to raise the debt ceiling will likely hit your finances. That's why Long Islanders, including Andrew Weingarten of Syosset, have a message for lawmakers on Capitol Hill. Please get your stuff together so we can move on from this. So what's next in the debt showdown? Well, House Republicans are expected to vote tomorrow on a bill to cut and cap spending and require that Congress pass a balanced budget amendment before the debt ceiling can be raised. While the bill is unlikely to pass the Democratic Senate, President Obama threatens to veto it. Judy. Thanks very much, Virginia.